Hello! So I wanted to share with you guys my orchids for the summer. This is their summer home. I had a, a viewer and uh, I forgot the viewer's name so I apologize but I wanted to share with you how my orchids are doing as well as my other subscribers and viewers um, how they're doing for the summer. So they are hanging on my um, outside deck area um, that's sort of like a little screened in sunroom area so I made this these little I guess you can say pot holders and there's a video at the bottom on how to do that if you want to do that for yours um, but these are all the orchids so I have a total now of six yeah unfortunately I lost a few along the way um, due to negligence on my part even though some of them were sickly but um, I did acquire a couple of extra ones so let me tell you which ones are which. So this one in front of you, um, this one is a white orchid. This is the first one that I purchased that was on discount from Lowe's. And my battery looks like it's dying, guys, so I'll try to make this really quick. Um, but anyway, uh, let me get, move faster before the battery dies. This one is white, and so I left the spikes. Actually, I'm sorry. This one is white with pink. This was my Valentine's Day orchid, so that video is below. Um, this is the white and pink one. So this one is very, very healthy. It was not um, discounted or in any neglect state. It was very, very healthy when I bought it. So this one is like a really, really nice one. I love the pink and white. It's very, very pretty. Um, so over here I have one, this is the white one that I was saying that I got from Lowe's that was discounted and that was um, only had one bloom and again that video will be linked down below. Um, and it's doing very very well. Um, it was kept in office for most of the winter. It has not ballooned since I bought it but it does have a uh, new leaf coming in and the leaves are so thick and healthy um, and this deck area gets sort of like shaded sun it does get some direct sun but I think these two orchids don't seem to mind as much as the other ones so let me show you the other ones okay so this one here is the pretty spotted purplish pink one that I did a video on when it was blooming by itself. It still has one spike left. I didn't cut it back. I left it and this is a full size one. Uh, this one is in a little bit more sun. It, the leaves are actually a little bit dry so I think I need to put some water in it. Uh, some of the older leaves but the new leaves is, is really really strong and I don't think there's any new leaf growth right now. No there isn't. So that those are my three full-grown orchids and then I have three mini ones. So let me show you those. Okay so this is the uh, first mini and that I, no this is the second mini that I purchased and this one it will bloom, uh, this one will bloom yellow. This is the one that I got from Trader Joe's and, and this one was not discounted. It was not unhealthy when I purchased it. It was very healthy and it just has not bloomed again. Actually most of them haven't but I haven't been feeding them with uh, with fertilizer either. I just started doing that now that the summertime is in so we will see what happens this fall. Um, and it was in bright light uh, so I did burn a couple of the leaves as you can see right there. It lost like two sets. They turned totally black guys. That was just scary. Um, but I did save the other one. But this one up here has some sun damage as you can see there. But um, And this is another pot that I made and so it's just hanging from that. And this is a little teacup that I drilled the hole in. So right beside it is the other one. This one too had some sun damage. This one will bloom like that uh, pink, the striped that's in the photo in cover um, and it has not bloomed again either. So uh, it did have some sun damage but that wasn't from me. That was from when I purchased it in the store. Now this one, <laughs> that was from me. I did that and then it fell and I have a little bunny rabbit and she ate a little bit of the side bad girl. But anyway, as well uh, as up here, she she ate a piece of that. Um, she's okay, so guys, don't worry that she's 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 fine. Um, but anyway, this one has yet to bloom. And the last one, let me show you the last one. So hold on one second. 
Okay, so this is the last one, and this one is that like pretty, like a uh, orangish pinkish color, and it has a cakey, guys. And my first cakey ever. Those black spots are sun damage too. All three of these were in the the like window area of this deck area, and they got too much sun. So it seems to me that the miniature ones do not like a lot of sun. They do not. So I will make sure that they stay out of the sun, get indirect sun and i'll keep you posted hopefully they will bloom this fall so fingers crossed stay tuned thanks for watching until next time have a great day be blessed and take care of your plants and love people and, and show kindness in all that you do thanks bye